Hello, in this video I'm going to go through part I of question 1 on the 2011 map paper. So in this question they want to know how many solutions does sine x to the power of 8 plus cos x to the power of 6 equals 1 have for x between, so there should be x between 0 and strictly less than 2 pi. Okay, so one way to do this would just be the standard algebraic way where we replace either sine or cos so that we've got an equation just in terms of uh, sines or just in terms of coses. So let me call this equation star so we can refer to it later. Then I'm going to replace the coses just because it's to a lower power. So if I do that, well, cos of the 6 is the same as cos squared cubed. And then cos squared is just 1 minus sine squared. Right, so then when we expand this, we get this on the right-hand side. So we can substitute this in for the cos 6 here now. And this is what we get. And then, of course, these ones will cancel. So we're left with something just in terms of powers of sine squared. So let me just call s sine squared, or sine squared s, um, just so it's easier to write our equations. Well then, our equation is going to become this, so s to the 4 minus s cubed plus s, uh, 3s squared minus 3 And we can see that s is going to factorize out of all of these terms, so we'll have this. And well, what about this cubic, well, we can see that if we had s equals to 1, then that would be a root to this cubic, right? Because then we'd have 1 minus 1 plus 3 minus 3. So we can use the fact that s minus 1 is going to be a factor to this cubic to factorize it. And when we do, this is what we see. So we have roots s equals 0 or s equals to 1, because this isn't going to give us any real answers. Well, s is just sine squared, so we see that sine squared is 0 or 1, which means that sine x is either 0, 1, or minus 1. And in our range uh, 0, 2 pi, well, sine x is going to look like this, and we see that we're going to have four solutions when sine x is either 0, 1, or minus 1. So that'll be at 0 pi over 2 pi, 3 pi over 2, and we're not including the 2 pi here. So we have four solutions, and the answer is b. Well, the is another way to think about this question actually. So we're looking for solutions of sine to the, uh, x to the power of 8 plus cos x to the power of 6. And well, we also know that 1 is equal to sine squared x plus cos squared x. And now we know that sine x and cos x are between minus 1 and 1. And so we're going to have that sine to the 8 is less than or equal to sine squared, and cos the 6 is less than or equal to cos squared. So when we raise them to a higher power, they're going to be smaller. And we also know that we are only going to have the equality when uh, sine is either 0 or 1, and similarly for cos. Well then, that's going to mean that we have uh, sine to the 8 plus cos to the 6 is going to be less than or equal to sine squared plus cos squared, and they're only going to be equal when sine and cos are 0 or 1. But we're looking for when it is equal, right? So essentially we want sine x and cos x to be either 0 or 1. And that's going to happen when x is 0 pi over 2 pi or 3 pi over 2, which are the same values that uh, we got before. And so we see that uh, we still have four solutions.